Hi everybody, it's Dana from the Animal Welfare Society. I am the Behavior and Training Program Coordinator here, and today we're gonna to talk about clicker training. This is one of my favorite training techniques and methods, and I'd like to share it with you. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me talk about clicker training before, and I wanted to introduce it a little bit more formally. So clicker training is a method, it's part of a training methodology of marker-based training, which means we give our pet or our animal we're working with um, Hank or at home your dogs or cats, a specific indication that they did something right and food is coming or reinforcement is coming. So it's a very precise tool unless you get a lot of really precise behavior from your animal that you're working with and uh, it's fun as well. So a clicker is a specific sound. It comes from a little mechanical clicker or little mechanical box tool. Um, there are also other varieties. This one has a button on it sounds like that, you depress it like this, and it makes a very specific noise. What you're gonna train your dog to know is that when they hear the noise, food is coming. So that noise is gonna be a good experience in their head, and it's gonna indicate that they did something that you wanna see happen again. So we're gonna charge our clicker first by letting them know pairing this with food so that they know the click is a good thing. You're gonna be careful to click then treat. So what you want to do is click, then reach into your pouch and treat your dog or octopus. Click, then treat. Click, then treat. So you're going to do that about 10 times and take a break. Um, you can practice this. Your dog doesn't have to be doing anything specific. Just try not to practice it when they're like barking and jumping up and doing anything naughty because we don't want to reinforce those behaviors. You'll know that your dog understands the clicker when when you click and you they hear that noise that they turn around and look at you and are waiting for food. It's also great because um, if you don't have food directly on your person, you can click and still let them know that they did something right while you go get them a treat. You do always have to treat after you click uh, and especially for new dogs and beginning behaviors. The other cool thing about clicker training is you don't have to wait for a full behavior. You can work on things in stages. For example, if we were training our dogs to lie down and we're having a little bit of trouble with it, we can start to click for just some of the beginning behaviors of looking towards the ground, maybe starting to crouch and get a little bit lower, and then starting to take it in stages until they're all the way their belly and elbows are on the floor. So you can click for each step along the way and provide a treat to encourage your dog that they're on the right track and uh, to keep going and, and gently raise the criteria of what you're asking for at each step of the way. So after you've charged your clicker, your dog understands, you've done your 10 clicks and treats, uh, maybe you did 10 more depending on if they need it, uh, you can start to practice with the behavior they already know. So what I like to do is practice with sit because most dogs know sit. So this is great for you and your dog to both understand this new training mechanism. What you're gonna do is you're gonna ask your dog to sit. As soon as their bun hits the ground, you're going to click, then treat your dog. So you're getting your timing right by as soon as that butt hits the ground, you click, then treat. So it'll help you with your timing and it'll help your dog understand that they know they normally get treats for sitting. So this is just adding that little extra in so you'll be able to use it to train some new behaviors. One of the other great things about clicker training is it makes everybody who is training your dog sound the same. So it's a great, great equalizer. Um, if you have multiple trainers or multiple family members working with your dog, you can all sound the same, use the same method. Uh, consistency will make your training go much smoother and faster and let you guys have some fun along the way. If you have any questions um, about clicker training or any other dog related training questions, we'd be happy to answer them. You can email us obedience at animalwelfaresociety.org. You can check out our tips and tricks blog on the Animal Welfare Society website or check out our Facebook Live uh, question and answer Thursdays at four o'clock. We answer your questions live as well as questions that people have written in about throughout the week. Hope to see you there and catch you around. Bye!